The following program is a paid presentation for American Medicine Today and the Bonatti Spine Institute. The information and opinions expressed are solely those of American Medicine Today and are not the opinions of the station, its affiliates, management, or employees. Welcome to American Medicine Today, presented by the Bonatti Spine Institute, the world leader in advanced spine surgery, featuring the internationally acclaimed inventor of the Bonatti Spine Procedures, Alfred Bonatti, MD. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Brumell, and welcome to American Medicine Today, brought to you by the Bonatti Spine Institute. Every week, we inform you about breakthroughs in medicine, educate you on the growing concerns medical professionals, politicians, and experts alike have about Obamacare, and highlight the work of Dr. Alfred Bonatti and the Bonatti Spine Institute by sharing some of our patients' remarkable recovery stories. In today's show, I'll be joined by my American Medicine Today radio co-host, Ethan Euchre as we interviewed Dr. James Pinckney from Dallas, Texas about his Diamond Luxury Healthcare membership that allows patients to have direct access to board-certified physicians 24 hours a day for all medical concerns while shedding the inefficiency of traditional medicine. Next, we'll hear from one of our Bonatti Spine Institute patients who received the exclusive patented Bonatti Spine Procedures from world-renowned orthopedic surgeon and founder of the Bonatti Spine Institute, Dr. Alfred Bonatti. We'll hear about their remarkable recovery from them personally and the medical staff that assist Dr. Bonatti in treating these patients in our Back to Life segment. In our final segment, we'll speak with Dr. Bonatti about the ongoing troubles with Obamacare and why specialists like Dr. Bonatti will be harder to come by the longer the so-called Affordable Health Care Act remains intact. Introducing our first guest is radio program executive producer and co-host of American Medicine Today, Ethan Euchre. Thanks, Kimberly. Every Saturday at noon, we're joined by interesting guests who shed light on the growing concerns many Americans have about their medical care. The patented Bonatti spine procedures are leading the way in minimally invasive spine surgery exclusively performed at the Bonatti Spine Institute. A recent seven and a half year survey shows a patient satisfaction rate of 98.75%. Dr. Bonatti dramatically changed the way conventional spine surgery was performed. Following in Dr. Bonatti's quest to find medical experts who are pushing beyond conventional methods of medicine, today we'll speak with Dr. James Pinckney, a board-certified family medicine physician who has designed a health membership plan that provides priority access to a team of skilled practitioners. Zero wait time, zero copay, just to name a few benefits his Diamond Luxury Healthcare Plan offers. Dr. James Pickney is a board-certified family medicine physician with Diamond Physicians near Dallas, Texas, and he's here today to talk to us about how different facilities are now price gouging, which I find absolutely insane nowadays, but um, Dr. James, why don't you elaborate on what's happening with facilities? Well, yeah, it's, it's a really bad problem. Uh, I just read an article about a hospital in New Jersey that actually charged almost nine thousand uh, dollars to a man that had a small cut on his finger he received a bandage a tetanus shot and that was it nine grand for that er visit that's Ooh. absolutely ridiculous that's unbelievable i know dr james um, from personal experience i uh, had a little accident broke a, a bone in my hand last year and ended up out of pocket spending about a thousand dollars for essentially the doctor to hand me a brace and say, wear that for 30 days. Uh, we're not gonna reset it, we're not gonna do surgery, we're not gonna do anything on it, just here, wear that brace, boom, $1,000, ridiculous. Yeah, the rising cost of healthcare is out of control in America, um, and these hospitals are charging these astronomical prices because insurance companies pay them. So they're actually looking for uh, what's called out-of-network charges. They charge 9,000 to your insurance carrier. If they're in, ne in network, they have a negotiated rate. But if they're out of network with a particular carrier, then that $9,000 bill goes to the patient. And a lot of times if the patient doesn't have insurance at all, then they're still responsible for that $9,000 charge. And are they doing this even with Obamacare? Uh, it's actually going to be worse with the Affordable Care Act. Uh, at this point, we have a lot more hospitals and physicians that are out of network. Take Blue Cross Blue Shield, for instance. They used to have 223 different types of insurance plans. Now they have 13. That's a huge reduction. Uh, and, and unfortunately, the consumer uh, pays for this, this, all these issues. How are they getting away with this? That's what I want to know. 
the insurance companies allow it? The industry is, is not regulated properly, and I'm not sure exactly when everything spiraled out of control, but at this point, we have got to start having some fiscal responsibility and charging appropriate uh, prices, and that's what my my firm, Diamond Physicians, that we that's what we strive to do. We cut out the middleman, we cut out the insurance carriers, and we charge an appropriate fee for every medical service we provide. So if someone comes into my office and they have a cut finger, uh, I charge them $45 for the tetanus shot. And if they don't have any insurance at all, and it was just a Band-Aid and some ointment, that's their only charge. They pay a monthly membership fee, and that gives them 24-hour access, unlimited visits, and no copay to our physicians. It's a completely different model, and it cuts costs uh, up to 400%. Let me ask you something, though, Dr. James. Do you think this is because the insurance companies aren't paying the physicians at a proper rate? And because of that, they're trying to make up the difference, and unfortunately... Yes, yes that's part of the problem. Um, I don't charge insurance, but when I was in traditional medicine, we will tend to charge three times the rate in order to be reimbursed something. So if I bill an insurance company $350, we usually expect to get a third of that back. And oddly enough, uh, Kimberly, you know Dr. Bonatti, of course, yes. not typically a big fan of government intervention okay. with hospitals and things like that, you know, uh, having his own private practice. But I was reading the study and it was saying that actually the government run hospitals had the least amount of price markup. Do you know anything about that, Dr. James? That, that is true. Uh, the private hospitals and the, and the Fort Pay hospitals are charging a lot more. The margins with the government run hospitals are, are very reasonable. However, it's still very inefficient. So with direct primary care, you know, we are the gatekeepers. People have to go see their primary care doctor first. And unfortunately, we're short about 45,000 physicians in the year 2020. So physicians are leaving medicine. The Affordable Care Act has allowed uh, 32 million people with access to health insurance, which is wonderful, but access to health care is plummeting dramatically. The average face-to-face -face visit with a physician is eight minutes. My time spent with my clients on average is one hour and my clients don't have any wait time. So there's zero wait, you call me, you get in directly. Uh, most people can't see their primary care doctor for 46 days, which is ridiculous and it's unfortunate. And again, the patient, the consumer is hurt uh, by the inefficiencies in our traditional insurance payer model. It's unbelievable. And it seems hopefully that that's at least where we're gonna be sort of going um, in healthcare because again, you have one minor little thing that happens to you and you're going to be either your du deductible is so high that you can't afford it Correct. or just what they're going to cost uh, out of pocket is eventually going to be uh, a ridiculous amount of money. So I'm hoping, Dr. James, that, that this is a, a trend that you and some other physicians have started around the country and we'll see it continue. Absolutely. You know, the markup, uh, again, is, is because medicine, unfortunately, is a business. So when you have a business, things become monetized. And what we've done with Diamond Physicians, we solely charge that monthly membership fee in order to keep the lights on and to pay our physicians. So you pay a one flat monthly membership fee, kids are 45 bucks a month, adults range from 95 to 295, depending on age, so a couple hundred bucks, and you receive, again, unlimited visits, it's no copay, 24 hour access to our urgent care facility, and uh, you receive the benefits of having an 80 to 90 percent reduction in all of your procedures. So you have an a la carte cash pay, cash pay list for laceration repair. Uh, if you need oxygen, IV fluids, all those things, it's laid out so you know you're, you have a fixed cost for your medical expenses. You can kind of tabulate what it's going to cost if something happens. Right now, if you go to the ER, you have no idea what your bill is going to be. Absolutely no idea. You can come up with a simple laceration on the finger and be charged $9,000, which unfortunately is tragic. It is, especially in this day and age with that uh, quote unquote Affordable Health Care Act. We're seeing it's really not affordable and it's just more of a scare act. It, it's really not. It's a great idea. Uh, the premise behind it is wonderful. I want everyone to have access to health insurance. But unfortunately in this country, we don't use medical insurance like we should. We should use medical insurance like car insurance or home insurance. When you're filling up your car with gas, you don't file an insurance claim. When you when you need new tires or a windshield wiper, you don't file an insurance claim. That insurance claim is for a catastrophe when you have a major accident that costs thousands of dollars for repairs. The same principle should be applied to medical insurance. 
medical insurance should be used for catastrophic events, not everyday routine uses, urgent visits with your doctor. Those should be paid out of pocket, and health insurance should be used for uh, major medical, surgeries, motor vehicle accidents, uh, cancer treatment, things of that nature. He's certainly onto something. I think so. <laughs> well, congratulations, Dr. James. I think this is something that will take off throughout the United States. Well, thank you for sharing your time with us. We truly appreciate it. Thanks, Dr. Thank you. At the Bonatti Spine Institute, all of the procedures are performed here at our 11-acre facility. From your initial consultation and exam to x-rays and MRIs and our on-site imaging center. All surgeries are performed in one of our three surgical operating rooms and recovery is just steps away. This allows the surgeons more access to their patients and allows you to go home the same day. We'll be right back to hear from a Bonatti Spine Procedure recipient in our Back to Life segment. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Bonatti created, perfected, and patented the Bonatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Bonatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Bonatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Bonatti succeeds where others fail. Uh, my name is Terry Sullivan. I am from Tampa, Florida. I've had uh, the neck and back problem for a while. I just, uh, I really didn't pay any attention to it because I could control it with, you know, exaterin or whatever. This past December, I heard something pop and I've been on a spiro down ever since. I've got neck pain and my uh, lower back pain and it's affecting my ability to function, you know, walking, keeping my house clean, working, whatever I have to do that takes a little bit of exercise, I can't do it at this time. Uh, I've had to move in with my son so he could take care of me because I, I need help. Uh, my work, you know, I'm a barber and I can't stand behind the chair any length of time to take care of my customers. It's enough that it is, it is taking my quality of life away. And I, like I said, I'm confident that now I'm on the right track of getting fixed. In the early summer, I've had five surgeries uh, this last month. Actually, my pain is doing very well. I don't have any pain that I came here with. Uh, of course, like I said, I've had five surgeries and the last one was just last week. So I have a little bit from that, but you know what? It's all part of the process and, and I'm getting stronger every day. My son is 33 years old and I was five foot eight at his birth. When I came here, I was five foot six and a half, and now I'm five foot seven. I am walking straight, and I'm standing, you know, taller. Uh, wow. I just look forward, truly look forward to everything being back to normal, or maybe let's go back being better than normal because I've lived in this cycle of, of uh, ill health uh, for a long time. And so I'm excited about my tomorrows. I used to dance. I used to uh, teach Western dance and I'm looking forward to just going out there and trying it again, you know, not teach, just dance. And um, I'm just really excited, one step at a time. And I think Dr. Bonatti and his entire team, wow, I couldn't ask for better. They're going to get a good prognosis. Uh, if they have uh, pinched nerve pain, uh, there are good chances that we can uh, eliminate the pain or make it tolerable so that they can go through normal activities of daily living. People don't come here uh, to be patted on the head or to be given medicine. People come here because they have pain which is truly affecting the quality of their life. 
being able to have a positive uh, impact on that pain is uh, uh, very rewarding. I remember uh, I was awake for it and I remember every step. The first one I remember when I uh, uh, getting off the table and I was ready to get up and go. I felt that good and when I walked out and, and got in my truck it was like okay look here. <laughs> I was impressed. I felt wonderful. The patients get up there's so little recovery time they are happy, they are pain free. That's the key. And they, they get their lives back. They exceeded, absolutely exceeded my expectations. The fear, the terror that I felt before I got here, uh, I saw uh, neurosurgeons and they were talking about cutting me here, cutting me up the back of my neck. One was a halo for nine weeks and 14 weeks of rehab. And I mean, I'm sitting and going through all this. I saw Dr. Bonatti's program on television. My best friend saw it as well at her house. And I called her and it was just, okay, let's call him. And I did. We both came in. In fact, he allowed her to go in the OR with me, you know, so it's been an amazing journey. I couldn't ask for better. The fear factor, there is none. You know, as the, each process took place, when I walked in here, it was just like, okay, I'm coming to see my family. There wasn't a problem. I no fear. Nothing. Well, it's uh, amazing to see somebody who is sick and is without hope and has uh, <clears throat> situations where uh, they were already told that nothing can be done and we can correct that. All my pain is gone, gone, gone. Today I am totally pain-free, nothing, no after effect. It gave me my life back. I am feeling great. I feel 100% better, like a new person. I'm pain-free, and I have had to take any pain medication. Today I'm completely pain-free. I only wish I'd known about it earlier. Right now, I am completely without pain. During the procedure, I literally felt the pain melt away. It was fantastic. I feel so, so good. It took care of my headaches instantly. It's incredible. It's really incredible. Today I am pain free for the first time in over a year and it is so awesome. It's just wonderful. I feel fantastic. Sitting here in this office right now, pain free, eager to enjoy the rest of my life. It is just absolutely amazing. Today I feel absolutely fantastic. It's just incredible, the relief I feel right now. So I'm hoping to be climbing hills in a few weeks. When I first met him uh, and he reviewed the, uh, you know, the, the MRI and, and was, while reviewing the MRI was saying, you have a problem here that gives you pain. It should have pain here and it's like well exactly well i've had a lot of people ask me uh, about my back um, and when i explain to them that i'm virtually pain free uh, i have recommended since my surgery three people to dr Benati, and my comment to them was it worked for me you need at least a consult get an mri get a consult Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Bonatti created, perfected, and patented the Bonatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Bonatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Bonatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Bonatti succeeds where others fail.
Dr. Benatti regularly voices his disdain for Obamacare in our TV program. Some viewers agree with him, and some voice their displeasure with his opinions. Though Dr. Benatti is proud to always call himself an American citizen, and proud that he can voice his opinion in a public forum, he doesn't do this for fame or recognition, but to try to educate viewers about the trouble he's seen with similar types of medical systems in the countries he's lived in and has witnessed firsthand. Dr. Benatti's goals in producing American medicine today are to introduce new medical technologies that can change the way we all view our medical care and to see the limitless possibilities that exist when those individuals are given the opportunity to thrive. He feels Obamacare will limit the medical researchers, the innovators, and specialized surgeons that are necessary to keep America the best medical system in the world. And Kimberly caught up with Dr. Benatti at the Benatti Spine Institute and had him elaborate on this topic. You know, on this show, we always promote new medical advancements. We talked about cool sculpting, the doctor that did the TMS therapy for depression. We, earlier in this show, we spotlighted a rewalk that were the exoskeletons for those that were paralyzed. Why is it so important to continue on that path of medical advancements? The, the medical community and the research community is being uh, attacked in attack by Obama uh, uh, ideas of how to deliver medicine to the country, we are going to also delay the advances that they are coming in the near future. There's one other point though with Obamacare that I think is pertinent and that has to do with prescription medicines. We're now starting to see healthcare go by the way of just prescriptions, something that masks the symptoms but doesn't necessarily cure what the true ailment is. Well, what they're trying to do is they are trying to remove the specialist from, from medicine. Uh, the American medicine is the best in the world and is still the best in the world. But is the best in the world because you have three elements that they make that medicine the best. First, you have a very good trained physician. Second is this physician that is going to serve you. The country is educated to see that specific physician. If you have an eye problem, you don't go to a GP, you go to an ophthalmologist. If you have a knee problem, you don't go to a GP, mm -hmm. you go to an orthopedics. Now, this type of education are they are trying to erase from medicine. Right. So when that education disappear, you're going to go to a GP for everything. So you never will see a specialist. And the specialists are going to be less and less competent and less and less responsible and more and more busy so when you reach an, a, an specialist, uh, they are going to do one procedure that doesn't work, that's mm -hmm. tough luck, then you go to the line again mm -hmm. and they never will see you. Uh, these, these situations, they already happen in the world. This is not new. I saw it with my own eyes. Mm -hmm. So when I talk, I talk with experience. I don't talk just only because somebody told me. And, and I know the results of that type of a behavior is not only very painful, but when you have somebody that you love and you cannot help them, and you have a medical system that doesn't care, then it's very sad. And it's, it's I mean, you go crazy. And your opinion, Dr. Benatti, why do you think doctors don't like Obamacare? It's not my opinion is the opinion of the whole society. Uh, if you start to see, do you think that the people who, the million people who lost their, their insurance like Obamacare? No, I don't. Right? Do you think that the people who is right now receiving Obamacare and they go to a doctor and the doctor say, I'm not gonna see you, they like Obamacare? Mm -hmm. Do you think that they very soon they're gonna go, Obamacare is gonna be somebody who probably will be so mediocre in medicine that you're gonna be probably with more problems. So, do you think that person's gonna like Obamacare? No, doctors don't like Obamacare because we see the disaster in our patients. We see what is gonna to happen to our people. We know that we are going to be able to look and say, sorry, I cannot help you. My hands are tight, okay? And once you start to do that, then you are immediately removing yourself 
from being a doctor. And then you're going to start to quit medicine or you're going to start to look that you don't advise your, 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 your children to become doctors because you don't want this type of garbage. You don't want the politicians in the middle of your patients and yourself. The politicians, they need to, we need to clear the politicians. They need to have term limits. They need to remove themselves from this God position because it's creating to us a disaster. And, and if we continue with this and we can vo continue voting for politicians that they are more than, uh, more than eight years on the, on, on, the, on the political arena, we are responsible of these things happening. So I don't care if the politician is totally unknown to us. Vote for them. Vote for them. Take everybody who is more than four years or eight years in the system, throw them out. Because you know what? We don't need more laws. We need less laws. We need to clear the laws that they are in the system and start to breathe again. So we don't need lawyers on the political system and we don't need politicians permanent in the political system. We need to get people out from there and get people who can solve the problems. Well, Dr. Badani, you know, not only do we have the television program, but also our radio program. And we have so many doctors on that seem to mouth everything you say. And they are in total agreement that Obamacare is truly one of the worst things for Americans. Well, it is, and they are right. The only problem is that they need to wake up they are welcome to come to the program anytime, anytime that they want, they want to voice their opinion. This is their forum and this is open for them. I'll shut my mouth anytime that any one of these doctors want to come over and take over and talk about because they are affecting the life of my patient. And that is what I'm looking for. Thank you for watching American Medicine Today. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to contact us at the number below. And when you do, please make sure to leave your name and number. Or email us at info at americanmedicinetoday.com. And for those of you with Twitter accounts, tweet at Dr. Benatti or hashtag American Medicine Today. We respect your views and opinions and would like to hear from you. Thank you for watching American Medicine Today, presented by the Benatti Spine Institute. Please look in your local listings for our next regularly scheduled program. To hear more from Dr. Alfred Benatti and American Medicine Today, tune into News Radio 970 WFLA. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Benatti created, perfected, and patented the Benatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Benatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Benatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Benatti succeeds where others fail. The preceding program is a paid presentation for American Medicine Today and the Bonatti Spine Institute. The information and opinions expressed are solely those of American Medicine Today and are not the opinions of the station, its affiliates, management, or employees.